Hello friends, welcome to Best Tutor. In the previous class, we have learnt about rational numbers and the basic definition of rational numbers. Today, we are going to learn how to compare two rational numbers. What do you mean by comparison of numbers? If at all, I hold five chocolates in my right hand and three chocolates in my left hand, it is obvious that we are going to choose the right hand. So we know which is a bigger number or which is a smaller number. How do we compare two rational numbers? Rational numbers are not so normal numbers. They have a numerator and a denominator. So what is the procedure to be followed to compare two rational numbers? Let us get into the details of it. In the previous class, we have already learnt that rational numbers are fractions. They can be written in the form of a fraction where both the numerator and denominator should be integers and the denominator can never be equal to 0. So this is a set of rational numbers. Now how do we compare two rational numbers? I have written two examples of rational numbers here. 2 by 5 is a rational number because it satisfies all the three conditions required. It can be written in the form of a fraction. Yes. Both the numerator and denominator should be integers. That is also satisfied. And the denominator should never be equal to 0. All the three conditions are satisfied. So, this is going to be a rational number. Similarly, minus 3 by 7 is also a rational number. Now, how do I compare these two rational numbers? Let us learn. There are two types of questions. This is an example where both the rational numbers are unlike fractions in the sense denominators are different. Let us get to this example later. Let me give you a simpler example 1 by 3 and 4 by 3. These two are simple like fractions. How do I compare these two? When we have to compare two like fractions denominators are the same. So, we ignore the denominators, we consider only the numerators 1 and 4. Obviously, 1 is less than 4 or 4 is greater than 1. So, 1 by 3 will be less than 4 by 3. This is the way we compare two like fractions, two rational numbers which are in the form of like fractions. Now, in the same example, if 4 by 3 is replaced by minus 4 by 3, how do we go about 1 by 3 and minus 4 by 3 are again two like fractions. So, we do not have to consider the denominators. Let us ignore the denominators and consider the numerators 1 and minus 4. To be thorough with the comparisons of rational numbers, we need to be thorough with comparison of integers which is very very important. Now, 1 is an integer minus 4 is also an integer. If we ignore this negative symbol, then 1 is less than 4 which is obvious. But when we have positive 1 and negative 4, which is a greater number? Always remember that all positive numbers are always greater than all negative numbers. So, 1 is always greater than minus 4. Hence, 1 by 3 is hence 1 by 3 is greater than minus 4 by 3. Right. Now let us get back get back to this example of 2 by 5 and minus 3 by 7. Here these two are two rational numbers, but the specific property of these two rational numbers is they are unlike fractions. How do we compare two rational numbers when they are in the form of two unlike fractions? There are different steps to be followed. First step, consider the denominators of both the rational numbers. Remember that the symbol will be always carried with the numerator. Even if we have 3 by minus 7, this minus belongs to the entire fraction wholly and not in particularly to the denominator. If we have minus 3 by 7 or 3 by minus 7, it means that the entire fraction is negative irrespective of the numerator or denominator being negative. Yes, 
Now, getting back to the solu uh, solution, 5 and 7 we are supposed to consider. We need to take the LCM of the denominators. LCM of two or different numbers or more numbers can be found out very simply using a oral procedure. Here, 5 and 7 are two co-prime numbers that means they do not have any common factor. In such a case, LCM is going to be just the product of those two 5 and 7 which is 35. Now, I would like to convert these fractions into equivalent like fractions. What do you mean by equivalent like fractions? These two are going to be unlike fractions. I, I would like to convert them into like fractions with the same denominator. I would expect the denominator of the equivalent like fractions to be 35. 5 into what is 35? We clearly know that 5 into 7 is 35. So, if I multiply this fraction with 7 in the numerator as well as the denominator, I would get a equivalent fraction 2 7s are 14. Similarly, we convert minus 3 by 7 also into an equivalent fraction with 35 as the denominator. So, with which number should we multiply minus 3 by 7 or 7 to get 35? Obviously, 5. So, the numerator is going to be minus 15. Now, the fractions 2 by 5 and minus 3 by 7 have turned out into 14 by 35 and minus 15 by 35. Now, the problem has been converted into a simple problem where we have to compare two like fractions as we have done earlier. So, now second st this is the first step and second step converting them into like fractions. Third step just compare 14 by 35 minus 15 by 35 ignore the denominators you are going to get 14 and minus 15. So, 14 is obviously greater than minus 15. Therefore, 14 by 35 is going to be greater than minus 15 by 35 or 2 by 5 is greater than minus 3 by 7. I would like to add one more point here. Even though we do not do the entire procedure, just by observing these two fractions, this is a positive fraction, this is a negative fraction and we have already learnt that positive numbers are going to be greater than negative numbers. Similarly, positive fractions are going to be greater than negative fractions. So, directly you can do this. That is going to be applicable when it is going to be a one mark question. But if the same question is given for three marks or more than that, the entire procedure has to be done. Right. So, we have learned how to compare two rational numbers in this class. So, we have learned how to compare two rational numbers, but if we have more than two rational numbers, how would the procedure be? Let us consider 1 by 3, 2 by 5, 3 by 7 and 4 by uh, 8. No, no, 4 by 8 would be 1 by 2. So, let us consider 4 by 9, right. There are four different rational numbers here and we need to compare these two, these four rational numbers. How are we going to do it? The first step, consider all the denominators and find out their LCM. There are two procedures to find out the LCM. First, let us do the stereotypic procedure and then we will continue with the shortcut procedure. 3 ones are 3, 5, 7, 3 threes are 9. You have to, you can continue or else you can stop here. We can stop here the reason being 3, 5 and 7 are do not have any common factor. So, even if you continue you are going to get 3, 5, 7 only. So, LCM is going to be 3 into 3 into 5 into 7, 9 into 5 into 7. If you observe, the LCM is 315. There is one more procedure called as oral method. You are going to consider the highest number being 9 
recite the 9 table and check whichever multiple of 9 is being divisible by all the other numbers. In that way you can find out the LCM. So, even in that procedure you are going to get the LCM as 315. Now, we have already found out the LCM to be 315. We have to convert all the given rational numbers into rational numbers with a denominator as 315. 1 by 3 into something so that we get the denominator as 315. If you observe, we have got the LCM as 3 into 3 into 5 into 7. Yes, so we have 3 here. What number with which number should we multiply 3 to get 315? If you observe, you close this, you are going to get 3 into 5 into 7, which is going to be yes. 21 into 5, 105. So, if I multiply 3 with 105, I get 315. So, this is the first one. Next, 2 by 5, I have to find out the number with which 5 has to be multiplied to get 315. Ignore 5. So, you have 9 into 7 which is 63. 2 3s are 6, 2 6s are 12. So, we have got 126 by 315 and the next number is 3 by 7, rational number is 3 by 7. I need to multiply 3 by 7 with some number, same number in the numerator and denominator to get 315 as the common denominator. With which number shall we multiply? Ignore 7. You have 9 5s are 45. 3 into 45 is going to be 135 and the last one is 4 by 9. So, 4 by 9 has to be multiplied with something to get the denominator as 315. What shall we multiply it with? 3 into 3 is 9, ignore it. So, you have 5 into 7 which is 35. 4 into 35, 4 5 is a 20, 4 3 is a 12 plus 2 is 140. So, we have got all the 4 rational numbers into equivalent like fractions. So, this is nothing but 1 by 3, 2 by 5, 3 by 7, 4 by 9. We have transformed the problem into a problem where we have all 4 equivalent like fractions. Now, the comparison has become very easy. If at all, we need to arrange these rational numbers in ascending order. Ascending order implies we have to start from the smallest fraction and reach the biggest fraction or the greatest one. Of all these four, this is going to be the smallest rational number and then is 126, 135, 140. Here we have already given, taken the question in an order, but it is not the same in all the cases. So, we are going to have the ascending order as 105 by 315 is greater than 126 by 315 which is indeed greater than 135 by 315 greater than 140 by 315. You can't leave the solution like this. This is an intermediate step. We need to write down the final step as 1 by 3 greater than 2 by 5 greater than 3 by 7 greater than 4 by 9. This is the ascending order of rational numbers. If at all we need the descending order, we will follow the order in the other way. Thank you. So, this is the procedure to compare two rational numbers. Let us meet in the next video. Thank you.